Hello and welcome YouTube to my channel. I am the Flying Squirrel and this is a video, obviously. Now, I was inspired to make this video by the Oscars. I was watching the Oscars late at night and thought there could be some way better nominated movies if they actually existed. And that made me think, what if I told peop the people of YouTube what those movies could be? So, without any further delay, let's get on with the top 15 games that should have been made as movies. Again, like I said before, these do not follow by worst to best, they are all equal, well, somewhat. Number 15, Fallout 3. Developed by Bethesda Softworks, Fallout 3 is a gripping post-apocalyptic game that tells the story of a young boy who has grown up all his life in a bunker deep underground which is called the Vault and runs away from his home to find out what his father's work was really about. And when he gets outside, he's really startled by, by the radiation and the weird world of Fallout. Fallout. I could have said any of the Fallout series, but this one was the one that really clanged to my heart and pulled me into the world. I didn't like New Vegas. It all just felt like a cheap DLC for Fallout 3 instead of a standalone game. Anyways, anyways, let's move on. So Liam Nelson is your dad in Fallout 3. How fucking awesome is that? Anyway, here's a list that I think should play them in the movie. The player, what you, whatever you named him, Logan Lerman. Logan Lerman, sorry. Um, James, your dad. Liam Nelson, obviously. Butch, the douchebag. You know, the uh, old gang. Joseph, Joseph Gordon Lewitt. And uh, the voice of Hoover the Robot, Stephen Merchant. Played, he played Portal, in Portal as Weekly. Moira Brown, Scarlett Johansson. The Overseer, Brian Cranston. I apologize if I have missed anyone, and trust me, I've missed a buttload and just included the most important ones. Number 14, Half-Life 3. Valve, I beg you, make the third one now and please end this madness. Anyways, as some of you know, Half-Life 3 does not exist yet, unfortunately, but when it gets made, there should be a movie, don't you think? I don't think I should explain Half-Life to the YouTube, to, to you YouTube, but I will because some of you people just don't know what it is, still don't know what it is, seriously, for fanatic COD, for, for um, COD fans who are fanatic about FPS games and they claim that they love FPS games, if you haven't played Half-Life or any of the Half-Life series, you're not a true FPS game lover, I mean, I don't know what the cast will be for Half-Life 3, so here's the cast from Half-Life 2, and which I think the people who should portray them in the movie. Gordon Freeman should be portrayed as Adam Savage from Mythbusters. I know he's not an actor, but it would be perfect, guys, come on. They're both ginger. The G-Man, Christopher Walken. Barney Colhoun. Jake Gyllenhaal. Alex Vance. Jessica Alba. Dog, a robot? Eli Vance, Morgan Freeman, Isaac Kleiner, Christopher Lloyd, perfect match, am I right? Judith Mossman, Winona Ryder, Wallace Breen, Christopher Lee. Number 13, Grand Theft Auto 4. What do you think, YouTube? A GTA movie? I mean, that's a match made in heaven or a dozen lawsuits against it claiming it induces violence and tries to shut it down. Friggin' parents. This game is such a premise and would be a great movie because it's already such a cinematic experience. Anyway, these are who I think should play the cast. Nico Bellic, Nicolas Cage. What? They're both named Nick. Roman Bellic, John Travolta, Little Jacob, Eddie Murphy, Brucey Kibitz, Channing Tatum, Mallory Bardas, Eva Mendez, Vlam Vladimir Glemov or Vlad, Nikita Mikhalkov. If you don't know him, just check him up on him. Dimitri Raskolov, Joe Pantoliano, Pantoliano, uh, Mikhail Faustin, Sam Rockwell, Patrick McCreary, Aaron Paul, Kate McCreary, Emma Thompson, Elizabeth Torres, Whoopi Goldberg, Francis McCreary, Gary Oldman, Ray Bocino, Robert De Niro, Playboy X, Jamie Foxx, Dwayne Forge, 
Digimon Hound Cell. I'm sorry if I spelled any of those wrong. Number 12, Max Payne 3. Yes, I know, angry YouTube commentators, there was already a movie of Max Payne, but that movie shamed the incredible series of games Max Payne is. Mark Wahlberg? Are you kidding me, producers? Come on, guys. I think this one needs a reboot, and here's what I think the cast should look like. Max Payne, Bruce Willis. Raul Rossos, Mar Mario Lopez. Victor Branco, Antonio Banderas. Rodrigo Branco, Michael Douglas, Giovanna Taveras, Gemma Artetron, Fabiana Branco, Kristen Bell. Number 11, Uncharted 3. Come on guys, we all have to admit, playing Uncharted didn't feel like a game. It felt like an interactive movie. And that's why I think the next Uncharted series should be made in the form of a movie. Well, I wouldn't mind a game too. Anyways, here's what the cast should look like. Nathan Drake, Adrian Bellani, Elena, Elena Fisher, Hayden Penetiere, Chloe Fraser, Nikki Whalen, Victor Sullivan, Kevin Spacey, Charlie Cutter, Jason Statham, Catherine Marlowe, Christine Applegate. Number 10, Dead Space. I know there's an anime version of, the, of it, but I want to see a realistic gore, space, necromorphs that you know aren't hand-drawn and actually scary. I think that would be a huge success. Anyway, here's the cast. Here's, here's the cast. Isaac Clarke, Edward Norton, Ellie Langford, Haley Berry, John Carver, Denzel Washington, Nicole Brennan, Emma Stone. Number 9, Alan Wake. Developed by Remedy, this action horror gave me a, quite a scare when it came out in 2010. This one could easily make a transition into Hollywood because it's already a great, it already has a great narrative. And so, anyway, here's the cast: Mr. Scratch, Colin Farrell, Alan Wake, George Clooney, Thomas Sane, Kiefer Sutherland, Alice Wake, Amanda Seyfried. Number eight, Halo. Although I don't have an Xbox and I only played Halo a brief minute in my friend's house, this game totally looked cool, even for those brief seconds. Anyways guys, fuck the guy who made a movie of this, here comes a reboot. Master Chief, Ryan Reynolds, The Arbiter, any person with a demon voice, Sergeant Johnson, Samuel L. Jackson, Cortana, Olivia Wilde. Number 7, Deadpool. Yeah, sure, the game isn't even made yet, but man, this was my favorite Marvel character and still is. He's funny, witty, and he's just a cool guy. So, here's the cast. Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. I don't know who else they're going to include in the game, so let's just stop there with the cast, shall we? Oh yeah, they're making a game, by the way, if you didn't know. Number 6, Skyrim. A second Bethesda game in this list? Well, it deserves that spot, because I know what... Well, I know, but what I can, what can I do? I like their work. The Elder Scrolls V is altogether a bit too fantastical to be made into a movie, so I think for the plot they should stick to the main quest line because the, all the other quests would just confuse the viewer. The cast should be Dra the Dragonborn, Chris Hemsworth, General Tullius, Gerard Butler, the Master Greybeard, I don't remember his name, Ian McCall, Alduin, his voice, Michael Hollick. Alfred Stormcloak, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Number 5, God of War. I just played through the HD remake of this game, and it made me realize how freaking epic this the epic shit happens in this. So here's the cast. Kratos, Dwayne Johnson, Athena, Angelina Jolie, Gaia, Betty White, Zeus, Ian McKellen, Ares, Liam Nelson. Number 4, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Now you're thinking, how the hell can a classic monster bashing platformer become a Hollywood movie? But I say, it can my friends. This movie will show you how cool and scary vampires are actually are, and not like sparkly hundred year old pedophiles. So here's the cast. Gabriel, Jared Leto, Marie, Nat Natalie Portman. Number 3. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Ah, another Grand Theft Auto. What can I say? I like the story, man. Now, how cool would this look, guys? Miami in the 70s. Wow, I can't even imagine what it would look like. 
it would be relatable and realist and with the re relatable and realistic characters of GTA and it would be just even more epic. Speaking of characters, here they are. Tommy Rossetti, Matt LeBlanc, Sonny Ferrelli, Robert De Niro, Ken Rosenberg, Baden Erk, Odenkirk, Lance Mans, Terrence Howard. Number two, Left 4 Dead 2. I gave up on the Walking Dead series after the disaster which was a February episode. Instead of that, instead, I think the movie that continues the zombie saga should be Left 4 Dead 2. It has action, funny characters, plus it's made, plus it's made by what? Valve. You can't go wrong there. Here's the cast. Coach, Forrest Whitaker, Ellie, Norman Reedus, Nick, Matthew McConaughey, Rochelle, Jennifer Hudson. And the officer goes to... Metroid! I'm kidding, this isn't the best one. I just wanted to say that really badly. This would be an epic sci-fi thriller if it were made. Weird alien lizards trying to eat you and bizarre virus which affects everybody but you. And a startling ending where you discover the guy in Metroid is actually a girl. Here's the cast. Metroid Soldier, Armando Seyfried. Alright guys, that was the top 15 games that should be made into movies. Oscar edition. I'm kidding, it's, it's a normal edition. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have actually bared through the video and got up until here, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see videos similar, similar to this one.